Yo, what's Gucci guys? So today we're gonna be talking about LIE, breaking down all the elements of an LIE. So I wanted to do like an SLE and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I was horny for that shit, let's get into SLE. But I actually decided, you know what, LIE deserves this first. People kind of know what an SLE is like, but I feel like LIE, it is highly misunderstood and I think this breakdown is gonna help a lot of people. So first we're gonna start with the super ego block which is kind of what we always do. It is the cope fest area. It's a very, very important part of one's personality. You have their role FE. So the LIE is often in a very positive mood. They enjoy positive demonstrations of emotions. From a very early age, they learned how to observe the emotional atmosphere of their environment and to respond to that environment in a way that the atmosphere dictates that to be correct. Learning and adapting to respond in a correct fashion. For example, when emotionally reacting to a situation, the LIE will react in a way that is socially acceptable. Unlike the LSE, the LIE's social ideal involves positive emotional atmosphere. Now, if the LIE's mood is bad or maybe they feel some type of way that's negative, negative, they will try to hide it. They will try not to show it. They don't want to interfere with the emotional atmosphere in a negative way. They don't want to impose that on others. It's very important that the emotional expression and the emotions are positive. They do not want to cause any problems in this context in a negative way. Now, what many people don't know is that they are actually responsible and are supposed to raise the emotions of their duel, the ESI. They do not manipulate people's feelings, they do not manipulate people's emotions or ethics. LIE tries to make other people laugh, it gets a certain uh, positive emotional reaction out of other people. You'd love it, it's Candyland. I promise to stress free environment, no tension, no surprises. Ow! Are you nuts? Cheers, Sam. You really have got a lid on it, haven't you? What's your secret? Mellow jazz, bongo drums, huge bag of weed? Is everything a joke to you? Funny things are. Threatening the safety of everyone on this ship isn't funny. This reaction gives the LIE the information ab about people's physical condition and also their emotional condition. This is what the LIE sees first in everything. If the LIE does not succeed in getting that positive emotional reaction from someone, they can feel helpless. Their SI needs the FE information to be able to produce something. They are your average optimists, people who see the world very dynamically and who don't want the you know, environment to be polluted by some negative bullshit or changing the uh, emotional atmosphere from a very positive one to a negative one. Now, in, imagine in a group where everyone's laughing, right, having fun, making jokes, the LIE will get stressed out and maybe even irritated when someone comes along and tries to maybe, you know, start yelling, being melancholic, being sad and being depressed. They're simply not programmed to exist in such spaces. They do not welcome emotional pain and they avoid it at all costs. Now, vulnerable SI, the cope fest. How does that really manifest? The LIE does not eat? Maybe the LIE is a bum. And uh, no but kinda. No, I'm joking. Actually, no. The LIE does not live in the present moment. They live for the future. The LIE does not value mundane life. If they do strive for something in this world, it will always have a shit ton of idealism behind their goals. I was worth about over a million dollars when I was 23 and over 10 million dollars when I was 24 and over 100 million dollars when I was 25. It wasn't that important uh, because I never did it for the money. I think money is a wonderful thing because it enables you to do things. It enables you to in invest in ideas that don't have a short-term payback and things like that. They are also very sensitive to towards other people's well-being. They value human life and their social ideal actually wants to improve people's lives, make people's lives better. This ideal is characterized and fulfilled by their ego block. It is important that nobody reminds the LIE of the present or the daily chores. They simply don't want to think about it or do anything related to any of that. If Now, if they do that, they don't want to be seen doing that. Now, we know the EIE is quite similar in this case, but the EIE's SI works alongside their TE role, which makes them more sensitive to inappropriate movements. The EIs are worried that their movements are not aesthetic enough, and they're actually much more prone to, to doing uh, daily chores than, than an LIE. The LIE is more concerned about their own and other people's emotions happening at the same time in space. They are sensitive in changes to those emotions because those emotions will evoke physical sensations. Now, if the superego of the LIE is concerned about their own and other people's emotions 
and as well as the quality of space, ego block is responsible for assuring that those things will be enforced, provided for themselves and for other people. Now we know that LIE is a pragmatist and they do regulate their own work and other people's work in order to maximize the efficiency and the process of tasks and method. Speak. He's speaking Hungarian. I don't speak Hungarian. Let me finish this. Initialize the power sequence. Now. Tell me. Tell me. Function 11. Tell me when you see a progress bar. It should be yes. up right now. Talk to me. Okay, tell I, me when you see it. I have it. Press control I. 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 Got enter. It. Okay. I and enter. Come over here and button me up. They're coming. Nothing pretty. Just get it done. Just get They're it done. They're coming. Make sure the checkpoints are clear before you follow me out, okay? They often like to work on many projects at the same time. They quickly finish one and then jump to the next one. They study many topics and they prioritize facts over subjective data. Customers don't form their opinions on quality from marketing. They don't form their opinions on quality from who won Deming Award or who won the Baldrige Award. They form their opinions on quality from their own experience with the products or the services. One can spend enormous amounts of money on quality. One can win every quality award there is. And yet if your products don't live up to it, customers will not keep that opinion for long in their minds. They learn through facts and they think through facts. Those facts end up turning into method of action and work. They communicate those methods to people. But I learned it based on the data when I was at Apple. I now take a longer term view on people. When I see something not being done right, my first reaction isn't to go fix it. It's to say, we're building a team here and we're gonna do great stuff for the next decade, not just the next year. What do I need to do to help person that's screwing up learns? That's painful sometimes. And, my, and I still have that first instinct to go fix the problem. They know how to maximize someone's work, how to make them work faster. They rapidly synthesize a fact and one fact leads to another. These facts shape the lens that the LIE sees the world through. Now the LIE's movements are tend to be a bit more loose than the EIE or LSE. You often see that the LIE works in a more lively way. They move fast and they work fast and that's probably caused by the you know high degree of optimism in their plans, high degree optimism in their work. So there is a lot of that optimistic energy that goes with this type. Now, if the LIE is a war commander, they know how to organize people's movements according to time. That They are the commander that will tell the soldiers when to go and when to stop. They organize people's actions and time. Now, NI creative, the LIE likes to exaggerate and express their creativity with true confidence. They are great organizers of time, other people's time, and their own. They are not impulsive. On the contrary, they smartly plan their future and they know what to expect from future based on observation of events in time. LIE is very positivistic about the future. They have this idea that everything they, they think about is going to happen. They are confident in their future. They rarely think that their project is not going to work. And if they do, it's easier to discard the, the project at hand and start a new one. Their vision for future is a fantasized world where they fulfill the super ego's social ideal. They want to make other people's lives better by enhancing the quality of their life. If the LIE is a social idealist, they will want to do something, provide something for people to maximize the efficiency of people's lives. We try to make tools for people and tools to enjoy entertainment, tools to communicate, uh, tools to create called iTunes U, where there's like, you know, I think it's 17 universities and there's hundreds in the pipe, are putting their courseware on iTunes to where their students and even anybody can access it. And these are, they're, what they're doing is they're taping lectures, either audio or videotaping lectures by their best professors and they're putting them on their servers so their students don't have to sit there and take notes and not pay attention to the lecture. They can just listen to the lecture and they can go get a copy of it and put it on their iPod and take notes later. And alumni can get at it and, you know, kids that don't even go to the university can get at it. Now, if they are more individualistic, they still will maximize their methods of action that will lead to a future that will, they will be able to provide good things for themselves. Everything that the super ego wants. The LIEs often can take risky decisions when it comes to their future because they are so certain and so optimistic about it. Nothing can threaten it. Now, if they make a bad decision, they do not worry. They will learn from their past mistakes and they simply will not commit the same mistake once again. Unlike some of the other types, like we were talking about the SCE, which doesn't have this talent, sadly, 
but the LIE certainly does. Now, they are intellectuals. The strength of the LIE lies in the ego block, which means that their avid logic that tells them if an action is logical or illogical, whether a fact is true or not, the creative tells them when to act and when not to act, gives the LIE a strong capacity for planning their future and manipulating time. Now, the LIE has no idea how interpersonal relationships work. They have difficult time knowing whether they love someone or they hate someone, or whether someone hates them or loves them. They cannot set up limits in relationships because they don't know what a fucking limit is. They need someone who can help them understand human relationships better. They unconsciously seek permanent relationships and they are not very aware of other people's attitudes. It is way easier for the LIE to transmit that responsibility of the interp interpersonal relationship to their uh, partner because they don't know how to control it and or even what to do with it. Hence, good day. Huh? Ooh, shoulders a little naughty. I don't want to harp on this, but did you like the uh, customer rabbit? Toasting you. Uh, While I finished up a little work. Uh-huh. And yes, I had a quick bite. I didn't know if you were coming home or you were having drinks with Aldous Killian. What are you checking up on me? Happy was concerned. No, you're spying I on wasn't. me. I'm going to bed. Come on. Come on. Hey, I admit it. My fault. Sorry, I'm a piping hot mess. You go to bed, I come down here, I do what I know. I tinker. They need someone to express their feelings openly for them constantly. That is the only way the LIE will know whether someone likes them, loves them, hates them, whatever the fuck it is. They will not say that they love something or they hate something, because this is not how they judge good or evil. The LIE in all actuality judges good and evil based on people's emotional impulse, whether an emotional impulse is ethical or not. Not based on their likes and dislikes. Now, if the LIE does not receive this emotional re reinforcement from, from their partner, they might feel like the, maybe the partner doesn't give a fuck about them. Maybe they, they, they don't care about them. Or they might think that the partner is sad or depressed. Because the LIE can only access ethics for their role function. It's very important for them to always know how to treat people with respect and how to control their tone. If they do not receive help in this area, they will feel helpless. And they can end up sounding much more condescending than they truly are due to very limited self-awareness. Now, mobilizing SE. The LIE is not sure whether they look good or not. They are unsure of their own aesthetics. This can make them feel indecisive or even insecure. They are sensitive when it comes to criticism in this area. Criticism when it comes to their appearance. LIE dresses accordingly to the situation. So whatever the situation demands of them in a sense of aesthetics, they will do it. If they are going to a wedding, they will wear a very nice suit, right? If they're going for a walk, they're gonna wear something casual. They will basically do what is expected. If they go to a BDSM meetup party, they will come prepared. The aesthetics of this individual are simply not original. Now, while the LIE does change, you know, how they can dress, they are never sure whether that appearance or the presentation is good or not. They might overthink about this uh, aspect. The reality is that the LIE wants someone with good aesthetics to help them in this area. Also, the LIE is unsure about their willpower. They might be afraid that they're imposing their will too much on people or maybe not enough. They can be pushy or they can be the opposite of that. Sometimes even being insecure that maybe they embarrass themselves by exerting too much energy on someone or maybe not acting in the moment as they should have. In general, the LIE does not try to do this on their own and they prefer their duel to help them with it, to do it for them or even to make sure that the LIE is consistent when it comes to pressuring other people. Now, now we have TI ignoring. We know that the LIE wants to contribute to society by occupying a certain position in the system, hierarchy. And through this system, this position, they will manifest their potential abilities. They are quite adaptable to hierarchies. And they often enjoy the personal benefits that this hierarchy gives them. The LIE does not impose their own sense of logic on other people. They rather listen 
and take into account the logic of others and then come up with a conclusion. LIEs only impose factual logic, which is why a gay TE lead. Here they adapt to others and they do not create systems on their own, nor do they manipulate the position of an object in space. The LIE rarely exists outside of a hierarchical system. They need their position to demonstrate their skills and their abilities. They try not to interfere or bother other people. They don't want to make someone feel stupid or intelligent, right? Kind of makes sense because their duel is an ESI. They can make the duel, they can make the ESI feel heard rather than judged. Then we have any demonstrative. LIE takes pleasure in showing off their talents and showing off their abilities, their personality. It is very important for them that they can express their abilities. The LIE can be very sure of their capabilities and their skills to the point where they from outside they might sound kind of narcissistic like they are better than other people i'm not saying the world is enjoying its longest period of uninterrupted peace in years because of me never has a greater phoenix metaphor been personified in human history it's not even about us it's about legacy it's about what we choose to leave behind for future generations and that's why for the next year first time since 1974 the best and brightest men and women of nations and corporations the world over will pool their resources, share their collective vision to leave behind a brighter future. The LIE submits their abilities to society. They are expressing their personal internal content, but the goal is to be praised. But what they do is that they use their abilities in favor of other people. The LIE often focuses on the abilities that they already have rather than the abilities that they don't have. They want to use those things, their abilities, the capabilities and the potential talents in favor of society. It is much easier for them to do this when they, you know, have a position in a system. In a system that allows them to manifest those talents. It, it can seem from the outside that the LIE is extremely sure of himself. Confidence does not come from a very nuanced understanding of their personality, but rather through how much they express their talents through their position in a system. That is the portrait. Now, if you have any questions, write down below. Now, this is an interesting type because we many saw this type as a Sigma male grind set, but the reality is in many ways, when if you're reading this, you probably think this sounds more social seven. So this is food for thought. Remember, classic sessionics, let's go.